if you have the Island Living Expansion Pack, then chances are, just like me, you too are obsessed with mermaids. We're going to go through all of their unique interactions and powers. Alas, please drop a like and a subscribe if you're feeling kind, and let's jump into it. The main difference between mermaids and regular sims is that their hygiene need is replaced with hydration, and it's replenished any time the mermaid is in water. This includes baths, but also extends to water-based activities like swimming. Hydration is also what is used to cast mermaids powers. Speaking of swimming, mermaids swim very, very fast when compared to ordinary sims. Like, slow down there, but also don't because I like it when you get from A to B quickly. They also have the ability to both sleep on water and sunbathe on water in case doing those things on land was just not cutting it for you. On to the powers that require hydration. The first one is Mermaid's Kiss and requires 30 hydration and will see your mermaid give the target sim a quick friendly kiss on land. If they're in the water then this becomes an incredibly saucy kiss which we love. The result is the same though, with the target sim getting a plus one happy moodlet for four hours. Summon Ocean Threat is another power that requires 30 hydration and for your mermaid to be in the water. It will see your mermaid sing before a dark shadow looms below the target sim dragging them under, it will leave the target sim with a tense plus three moodlet for a few hours. Then there's Siren's Call which feels like the more dangerous version of Ocean Threat. This also requires your sim to be in the water and technically costs 100 hydration. Technically, we'll get to that. Casting this on a target sim will see your mermaid lure them over towards them in the water before they drag them under and drain all of their needs down to be very low in the red zone. But your mermaid sim doesn't just drain their needs they steal them, meaning that this doesn't really cost 100 hydration because the need, along with your mermaid's other needs, will be significantly replenished. Mermaids can cast aquatic lure on fishing locations, which costs 30 hydration and will see light blue lights swirl around the spot. This gives your sim a boost to fishing in that location and means that they can catch rarer fish there for a period of time. While in the ocean, mermaids can click on a spot and for 30 hydration, summon the Azua Dolphin. The Azua Dolphin is always just a call away and your friendship bar will be maxed out from the get-go with soulmate status, meaning that all interactions will go swimmingly well, pun intended, with your aquatic friend. Then there's Siren's Lullaby. There are four lullabies in total and each one costs 30 hydration. The power of the lullabies manifests in the form of a moodlet on the target sim and only one lullaby moodlet can be active at one time. So casting two lullabies on one sim will see the second lullaby moodlet override the first. The first is Aegon's question. This will give the target sim a plus two tense moodlet for four hours. The second is Charmer's lullaby. This will give the target sim a plus two flirty moodlet for four hours. Inspiring Burkus, hope I said that right, is the third. This will give the target sim a plus two inspired moodlet for four hours. Finally, we have Knights or Queen. This lullaby will give the target sim a plus two sad moodlet for four hours. Now, if you have the Seasons expansion pack installed, mermaids gain some extra powers in the ability to control the weather. Each of these requires 75 hydration. Call Clear Skies will see the sunshine come out and a beautiful day appear before you. Great for if it's raining and you don't have time for those pesky droplets. Call Thunderstorm, we'll see a devastating thunderstorm hit Sulani. Thunderstorms leave sims who are outside with a tense plus three moodlet and often they'll instinctively run inside. This one's great for if you're looking to cause some chaos. And finally you can call a rainstorm, which means you're causing a thunder free downpour. It's kind of the middle ground between clear skies and the thunderstorm. Alas, that's all of the mermaid abilities and powers. If you enjoyed or found that helpful, then please hit that like button and drop a subscribe. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.